What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And today, we're gonna have a look at the legendary Smooth Cut. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? Right, we're gonna watch that intro again, but this time I want you to look out for any cuts in the video. See if you can spot them all, and then pop a comment below before you carry on with the rest of this video to let me know how many you spot. What up folks, it's Alex here. Welcome to 5 Minute Friday. And today, we're gonna have a look at the legendary Smooth Cut. So, Let's get straight into it, shall we? Did you see them? There were five. Five cuts in total. So now let's have a look at that exact same footage, but this time without the cuts. What up, folks? Good morning. Hello. How's it going? It's Alex here. Me. Yes, you all know me. I'm here every week. Welcome to 5 Minute Fridays, even though it's a Saturday. I know it's a Saturday. I'm late again. I apologize. And today... Yes, you've guessed it. We're going to look at something within DaVinci Resolve, as we always do. We're going to have a look at the legendary Smooth Cut. Cut. Smooth. Cut, cut, cut. So, let's get straight into it, shall we? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Hmm. So, there you go. That's the Smooth Cut. It's really, really useful, especially if you're an incompetent YouTuber like I am, who makes lots of mistakes when talking to camera. Yeah. Yeah. It's incredibly easy to do, so this is only going to be a short video, but it's worth talking about just in case you missed it. Now in that footage, obviously I'm relatively still, so it works really well, but it still does a pretty good job even if you're a bit more flamboyant and moving around a little bit more. So, let's open DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you how it's done. So here we are folks, we're in DaVinci Resolve and we're on the Edit tab. Now I've already added my video clip to the timeline and I've cut it up accordingly. So you can see all these cuts here in the video. Now if I hit play at the moment, they're not too bad because I don't move around too much, but the cuts are a little bit abrupt. So we're going to smooth them out using the smooth cut. Now you need to look for your effects library, which looks like this bottom window here. If you don't see this, it's just because your effects library is closed. At the toolbar and across the top, you should see effects library with the magic wand. Give that a click to open up your effects library. Now on the left you've got Toolbox, make sure that's expanded, and then look for the Video Transitions. Within the Video Transitions in the Dissolve area, you should see Smooth Cut. Now if you've never used transitions before in DaVinci Resolve, they're dead easy to add to the timeline. We simply click, drag, put it over the two adjoining clips like so, and then release. Now if I hit play, it'll smooth those two clips together. If we just look about here, you can see my eyes are doing something a little bit strange as it's trying to cut those and blend them together as best it can. Now I actually find the transition to be too long by default, so what I like to do is just click on the edge of the transition on your timeline and drag it in. I like to make these really short, it's about there, and then if we hit play, it smooths them together and it's just a little bit nicer. And then if we just add them to the rest of the cuts. And then if we hit play. Much better. And that's it folks. Easy peasy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you found this useful. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.